right thing. Okay, I'm sorry. What were you saying? I'm audio taping. I don't give you the right to audio tape me, first of all. Who are you? Do not audio tape me. PorcupineRealEstate.com The next day... I was off by about a half a block on the location. So I've gone ahead and uh, redone, reopened, or at least uh, chalked it in different corners from the ones that I'd already chalked it in. It doesn't hurt that it's all right in front of the state house. <laughs> all right, so I guess what I'm gonna do is just uh, set up here inside the market area and see how well a demonstration of political nature is tolerated. This says reopen in age. I'll show you myself better later. Okay, I'm sorry. What were you saying? I'm audio taping. I don't give you the right to audio tape me, first of all. Who are you? Do not audio tape me. Do not consent to you audio tape. Alright, well, I'm gonna get you kicked out of here. So he said uh, he's gonna get me kicked out of here in 10 seconds. The 10 seconds have now passed, but I'm going to assume that he's at least trying to get me out. So that's the sign that I was wearing. This is what I look like. I may not be able to get get you a shot of my sign and my me at the same time before I'm ejected, but I'll try. I thought you said 10 seconds. I'm still here. So the idea is that since this is a public street, even though it's been closed off by the, uh, well, you know, repurposed by the, by the farmer's market folks, uh, one should still be able to engage in political speech here. That's the test that's going on now. I didn't really intend to involve <laughs> reopening H in a First Amendment test, but... Uh, oh, hi, thanks. What were you saying? Oh, okay, thank you, thank you. I would have probably done, uh, used a URL more uh, personal to me, but this is what I already had written down. I didn't realize I was gonna do this. I hope the reopeners uh, don't mind, because I'm not really, uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not any kind of leadership or anything like that. I, I'm just sort of a guy on their Facebook group. How are you? I'm audio taping. Okie dokie. Um, is there any way we can get you to move one end of the market to the other? Oh, uh, I appreciate the way you asked. Uh, could you tell me who you are? Um, yes, yeah. uh, president of the market. Okay. Um, you're, you're a lot nicer than the last so president. <laughs> just or at least the one before last. I'm not sure. We just asked that everybody keeps it political and nonpartisan. That's all. We try to keep a very open market and stuff like that um, but we do welcome you at either end oh thank you catch catch our things off yeah just, that would be great because the the bad part was uh oh, the sign. oh thank you i appreciate that I really yeah do. We have well i i just had this discussion with somebody earlier and yesterday and um my constitution rights for freedom is being infringed upon and i don't like it yeah, you're not supposed to like it. Who 
transacted the Live Free or Die State's first home sale for Bitcoin? Well, it was this guy, Mark Borden at PorcupineRealEstate.com. He and his experienced team of professional, responsible activists want to get you in the perfect New Hampshire home. Escape that authoritarian spit pit where you're living now. Visit PorcupineRealEstate.com.